there is a massive thunderstorm over there I just saw this massive streak of lightning we just missed it hopefully we'll see some more Take but for off. now Timer start. Motor on. let's get this guy in the air Nice. So we're running a 5000 milliamp battery. And as you can see this thing is flying beautifully. Can it hold a knife edge? I think it can. Full speed down down the runway. Uh, it's not the fastest plane I have, but it's not lacking any speed. Oh, looks great against the storm clouds. Coming right for us. And banking it away. Time remaining, six minutes. Let's see some figure eights right in front. We're gonna go that way. And now back the other way. Beautiful. All right, let's get it down the runway. Full flaps and slow it right down. Look at that. Cruising beautifully. It will slow right down. Flaps, flaps up, back. power on. Up we go, straight up. Come on, come on, come on. And stall turn. Beautiful. Idle power down the runway with the wind. Scare the magpie. No, magpie not phased. Neither are the ones on the runway. Time remaining, five minutes. Now we're just gonna keep it upside down. And you can hear the thunder in the background there. When it come by inverted. Look at that. Beautiful power up and back down. What a gorgeous plane. I never thought I'd see myself owning one of these because you know it's not a sporty plane, it's not a military plane, it's kind of a private civilian plane. I mean, you can actually buy these for like anywhere between half a million to a million dollars. Australian depending on which one you you want I think the most expensive one I saw was like a million and a half or something like that so I mean but the thing is it's a really nice looking aircraft and it actually flies really well let's do some touch and goes let's swing it around I'm on idle power here. Now I'm bleeding in a little bit just to keep it going. Beautiful. Power on and away we go. No flaps. We'll do one with um, we'll do one with half flaps actually. Let's bring it around the other way again. Oh, taking it a bit wide. Take off flaps. Now this time I'm actually going to keep a little bit of power in the whole way because I don't want it to stall. And you can see it's coming down nice and gentle. Look at that. And now power on and away we go. Flaps up. Time remaining, three minutes. I am on high rates this whole flight, so... 
This is what you'd expect on higher aids as far as roll rate and the rest of it. So full power here, pointing it up. That's about as much as it'll do in the roll rate. I can probably adjust my endpoints to get a bit more throw, but I really don't know if it's necessary. Nice and close, look at that. What a beautiful aircraft with the thunder in the background. Nice barrel roll right in front. We're actually gonna bring it out the other way. So we're gonna go around the tree this time. Time remaining, two minutes. Look at that. Coming in from that side, beautiful. I actually wanna bring it in a bit closer. Let's go. Got to keep it above that tree. Here we go, that's better. A bit closer to us. It's such a gorgeous plane to fly. Like I'm cruising at just above half throttle. And this thing will cruise like this all day long. You can probably go even slower to be honest. I just like going with a little bit of pace. Pulling up and away. I just love flying against that grey sky. It looks so good. Time remaining, one minute. Beautiful. Alright, we might just do one more inverted pass. So we'll bring it around here. And roll. Watch out birdies. That's probably a bit high. I'm sure we can do better than that. 30 seconds. Now I'm not too scared with the timer because remember I'm on a 5000. And I know I can stretch this battery quite a bit. Lower it a bit. Come on, there we go. That's a bit better. Okay, roll back the right way. We'll do one more pass. And we'll try and actually land it from the right side, which is from the left side. So if we bring it around the tree, I'm gonna descend, start throttling back here. And now I'm actually gonna full flaps. Idle power, oh, so sweet, so sweet. This plane, every time I fly it, it amazes me. I, I look at it on the rack and I just think, why do I have this? And then I fly it and I've gone, yeah, that's why I have it. Such a sweet plane to fly. There you go, the Cirrus. If you don't have one, get one. Now, in case you're wondering, we got uh, about eight and a half minutes, roughly, of flight time on the 5000 milliamp Gen Z's bashing. You can see how it just goes underneath here a little bit. We're on 33% lift, which is pretty much 8.1 on the button with all of them. So I don't even have to put this battery in storage charge. It's ready to go and uh, be put away.